Engineers with the Guam Environmental Protection Agency were here on the site of the Luzon landfill today looking for answers to questions surrounding these aerial photographs distributed by Senator Roy Respicio. Respicio says the pictures appear to show construction at the site that could violate the terms of the project's current permit. But on the K-57 Breakfast Show this morning, a representative for the federal receiver tasked with completing the landfill, GBB's David Manning, defended the work. It is explicitly authorized in the building permit. So there is absolutely nothing going on at Loison that is not uh, within the building permits as approved by the Department of Public Works and Guam EPA. In a letter to Respicio sent Tuesday, Manning says that one structure the senator has pointed to in the photographs is in fact an outlet for the discharge of stormwater, which is necessary to control erosion at the site. And Manning says this is within the bounds of GBB's permit. However, Respicio says he still wants the Guam EPA to weigh in on the matter. You consistently present that uh, position, Mr. Manning, but, um, you know, we're, well, but, you know, if you, if you say something over and over, people start to believe it, and I'm not believing uh, anything uh, yet until uh, EPA can confirm that. Guam EPA officials say the agency could need a few days before it completes a report on the inspection today. For her part, the agency's administrator, Laura Lee Chrysostomo, says it is possible the work going on at Luzon is permitted. But the Guam EPA official overseeing the Luzon landfill project, Conchita Titano, says there is no way to judge that by the aerial photographs Respicio has presented. The photographs are somewhat telling, but the inspection will, will clarify whether or not a violation has occurred. There are permit conditions. We'll verify the inspection plus verifying what's in the permit will tell us if there's been a violation. Meanwhile, in his letter to Respicio, Manning also invites the senator to tour the Luzon landfill site to inspect it himself at any time. Stefan Sebastian, PNC News.